In this tutorial, I will teach you how to do lightings in Source Filmmaker in a relatively easy and short way. After this tutorial, you should be able to use this as a template for any poster you want to make. Here are some posters I previously made. My style is to look clean and sharp. The quality may not be as high as some official artworks or concept arts, but it is good enough to put one on your profile or again thousands of upvotes on reddit um i'm gonna use uh this <laughs> as, a <laughs> as an example to show how i normally do lightings and maybe first you need to open up your console and do matthon zero um it's basically the same command you are gonna use in tf2 if you are familiar with uh, config and stuff it basically makes your model look much cleaner and a bit more cartoon. This is the render setting that I use, but it's not that important so I'm not going to cover that. The first light we're going to add is the key light. I'm going to take it to the secondary viewport for easy movements. You can use that as a, a tips. We will change the radius, the shadow filter size, and the shadow add-in to this level. And do this for every single light that you are going to add uh, for your posters. And then change your light intensity level to a value between 0.008 or and 0.005. We're going to use the constant or the linear iteration to make it look stronger. Finally, change the color of your light. I would suggest to do a yellow or an orange light by uh, decreasing the green and the blue light. Add a second light by copy and paste the first light. This is gonna be the fill light. Change the intensity to very low. I would suggest going below 0.04 and disable the shadow of the fill light. Since I put my key light on the right, I'm gonna put the fill light on the left. Also, you may need to move your light to shoot from below because key light is shooting from above. To make your fill light less noticeable, we are gonna change the color even further you can be creative on this one. The next light that we're gonna add is the rim light. It is a light that you shine from uh, the behind of the model and the intensity is very high. You just need to uh, use the same lights that you use for the key light and then change the intensity to somewhere very high. You can modify that yourself and you can test different kind of level to see which one you like. We are going to add the fourth light, which I described to be the top light because you're going to use that to shine from above. The light setting is very similar to a key light, but you have to adjust the color a bit and then change the intensity to a bit lower. Copy and paste the fill light. This is going to be the bottom light. It acts like a fill light, but it should be much weaker. Put the light right below your model. Make the color of the light much more saturated. You can be creative on this one because whatever color you add, uh, it is not going to be standing out because we're going to decrease the intensity to below 0.01. And lastly, I'm going to show you all the lights that we have added as a brief summary. And a final tip is that use black void as a map to practice lightings or when you want to focus on lightings. Because if you're using other TF2 maps, your light is going to be uh, influenced or interrupted by other light sources. Uh, which you may want to avoid uh, because sometimes the default lighting in, in a map can be boring and I would suggest you to do the lighting in black void first 
and then you can crop the model onto the background that you want to use. So what I would like to do is that I will render the poster with a green screen and then I will do other stuff on Photoshop. I will usually just add a bloom effect to make it much brighter. I will put the tutorial link in the description. If you are interested in learning other source filmmaker skill or you want to improve your poster by doing Photoshop, you can go watch Stage or Stage. Stag, uh, I don't know. He has been making videos on SFM and Photoshop. If you want to learn more about it, you can just go watch them. I learned a lot from uh, watching his SFM video as well. He also has a Discord server where we shared our opinion and advice on uh, SFM and cats. And yeah, and that's it. This is basically the first time I ever do this uh, kind of tutorial videos. It's a pain in the ass to talk to the mic to yourself for 6 minutes and that's it. I'm not sure if I will be doing this kind of video ever again. Uh, I'm not sure if I, have, if I have the time to do it also. So yeah, goodbye.